and welcome to your Go Market update for the 5th of May 2022 with me, Mike Smith, a senior analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight, markets were dominated by the Fed as they released their interest rate rise and the policy statement that went along with it. As expected, interest rate rose by the expected 0.5%. But Jerome Powell, the Fed chairman, offered more dovish than expected outlook on economic growth, which seemed to reassure markets. Subsequently, all major indices closed significantly to the upside. However, US futures are slightly negative in early trading in Asia. And with the Nikkei and the Kospi closed, really the ASX is the major performer at this stage, although Chinese markets open as well today. ASX is trading higher on the back of that strong lead from Wall Street and European futures are also pointing to a higher open. Again, not surprisingly, post-Fed we saw the US dollar index drop and it went through the short-term support but still remains near multi-year highs. On that US dollar weakness, we saw gold pop higher and back up towards that key 1900 level. I think we're about $5 short as we're recording this. Oil has also risen back towards 110, where it sat for really most of the Asian session so far. And the VIX has also softened a little bit as market nerves stopped jangling quite so much as moved back through the key technical level of 28 down towards the next level at 25. In the crypto space, we also saw some moves higher. Bitcoin has moved back up to the top of the short term range around about 40,000 at this stage. But it doesn't look as though there is the appetite to break through it in early Asian trading so far. Earnings, of course, continue this week. We've got another plethora of earnings out today. On the data front, we've got Chinese services PMI already out. UK interest rate decision this afternoon and US weekly jobs later this evening. One would suspect the markets will still be fairly tense, as they have been really since the start of the year, despite that move yesterday. So we'd still consider this to be a relatively high risk market at this stage. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye. And if we look at the Australian dollar, US dollar, we had that big pop yesterday, as you can see there, a little bit of a pullback in Asia this morning, you can see. And this could create an interesting opportunity. If we look at the shorter term chart, you can see really since that Fed decision and press conference, which is this move here, we've really got stuck a little bit in a short term range with support at around about 72.40 and resistance at around 72.60. So within a 20 pip range, really for the last five or six hours, we've had one significant attempt to break through this fairly recently. So one would suspect that if we do get a break to the downside of 72.40, we could see ourselves move back down towards 72 in the first instance. I'm not sure there'll be the momentum to take it right the way down to where we were yesterday, but a retracement would not be surprising. On the ASX, we're starting to like the look of LYC. We, we had this bounce off significant support, but really since then has failed to move significantly higher. You can see here we've got a nice jump today up around that 920 level. And we think this is really well worth watching with a potential next resistance around about this 928 level if we break through this we could see some significant buying coming back into this rare earth company which we think has probably been a little oversold in terms of its fundamental picture so move back up towards this ten dollar level wouldn't be surprising in the medium term so one to watch for today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now